Okay, so welcome Zandile again. Thank you so much for agreeing to a follow-up session for the coaching. How are you? I'm great, thank you. I'm awesome. Much, much better than it was pre the coaching session. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. So if many magicians, if you're just joining and you haven't watched the video with Zandile, so this is now going to be the new public video. So she'll be sharing her experience. But if you want to watch that video of me coaching her, you'll have to click on the button at the bottom saying that you're interested in coaching and then you'll get access to the video and observe how I conduct my coaching sessions. And you'll also be able to sign up for a coaching session with me right not a session i only do like full on 12 sessions um that's my entire package zandile could do one session because she's one of them of my money magic students so it was a no-brainer because they have follow-up stuff with me personally in the money magic group so it's wicked easy okay so zandile remind us why did you want to do a coaching session <laughs> There was a huge block with money and I, where I felt direct quote from the session, actually, that money and I weren't friends. Mm. Uh, money and I were just not speaking the same language. I couldn't get money to stay. Mm. Um, during the coaching session, we went all the way down to a four-year-old me, and it turned out it was a question of safety. Mm. Um, because money represented or reminded me of a time when I was four years old and the people with money, the arguments around me basically at home were always around type mm. of thing, you mm. know? So mm. that meant money stayed, I stayed away from money and if I did have money, I had my own version of <laughs> so I'd blow it on me on something man i just find reasons to get rid of it and yeah. it all boiled down to a question of safety so mm. now fast forward after that i'm aware that i mm. feel unsafe and the funny thing is how i had missed it all these years because i'm the girl because i grew up in Lokshin, right yeah. there's a beat to the township that isn't there in the burbs, you know? <laughs> and it's, it's generally perceived as unsafe somewhat. Mm. But if you grew up here, breastfed, it looks shiny, then you know how to maneuver it. Mm. I think I did though, or I wasn't, I didn't know that I knew how to maneuver it because even now in adulthood, I would be at home and I'll be with you in your car. As soon as you step out, I lock all doors, you know? Mm. It's a safety precaution. But it went that much further for me because I am an unsafe four-year-old. Everything's just unsafe for me. Now the difference post the coaching session is that because when I was the door locker everywhere, it was an isolated issue, you know? Since the coaching session, I now understand that it's my inner child saying we are not safe. This is how I became a door locker. Mm, mm. wow that is absolutely intriguing and i guess the main thing was also about you not feeling safe enough to have money and post that account. yeah so tell us more how's that going yes. in the session man i got <laughs> money in my bank account for day <laughs> since the session <laughs> <laughs> um before the session <laughs> it was literally a case of i can't keep money there and by the end of the session one of the things my inner child requested i do is that i let money sit there for about two days after mm. getting it and i've literally been watching money grow on money like getting money while i have money it's i'm not used to that you know i work as a freelancer i'm always getting payments but one yeah. payment always comes in when i've cleaned out the previous one that yeah. hasn't happened since the coaching here's the most exciting bit though this this blew me away and i shared it with the rest of the magicians so i'm shopping my brother turns 20 turns 25 on the 31st of march right yes and he wanted an xbox as a birthday gift mom and i agreed because these things are expensive we'll go 50 50 on it and then we'll get him an xbox but now I don't, i'm not very techno savvy 
So I do my research and this thing costs an arm and a leg. So we really going to have to go 50-50 on it. But even when we go 50-50 on it, we still can only afford the console because it's expensive. Jeez. So we agree that we're only going to get the console. But I'm feeling bad. And then because... It's a case of nature versus nurture. It is in my nature to panic when things cost high amounts, right? Yeah. It's still relatively new for me to understand that I can control where money goes. Mm-hmm. So then after panicking, I sit down, I breathe, and I ask myself, but why are you panicking? Mm. It's not like you don't have the amount of this but this is not the amount you are wanting to pay for it. So then I literally, and my mom thinks I'm lying to her. I literally ask money to come into my account. I think you need to explain when you say ask money. When you ask money, you're doing the spirit of money meditations, right? Yes. (laughs) Yes. Sorry. So people are going to be like, I'm so used to people who understand what I'm talking about. I know. I know. (laughs) But it's, it's not just in the spirit of meditation only though. The daily letters to money that mm-hmm. I'm writing. Yeah. Because I'm writing daily letters to money. Um, my biggest issue generally with many things in my life has been follow through and consistency. Mm-hmm. And I found this mainly in my daily letters to money. So I'm wow. writing daily letters to money. Yes. So it's been, the thing is, when you become aware that a thing is a problem, you actually can tackle it. So now I can make myself sit down and write that letter to money. Yeah. And it's reaping amazing rewards because everything I say to my, it's, it's moved from, because I started on the course, what, two months? No, girl, you started on the course end of February. It's now April. Move from a case of, oh, whoa. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Zandi, okay. you've probably been doing this course for six weeks, please. And already you're like, <laughs> you're like all my students. You like to be like, what the hell? Like this must be weeks and weeks and months. No. Remember when I kept saying to you, Zandi, you should really do my work. My work will change your life. Hey. And you kept like, mm-hmm. it's quick stuff. <laughs> <laughs> It's quick turnaround times. It feels like a lifetime ago because now I actually feel like I'm in control of my money. Mm. Um, in my request for, to be able to afford this Xbox, I said, I want to be able to afford an Xbox, two controllers because the kid's not playing alone, uh, FIFA Live and FIFA the actual game because he's addicted to that stuff, right? Yeah. And then on the 29th, of, and I put it to bed. I left it alone. Yeah. This is, say, around the 20th of March, maybe, if not earlier. Yeah. On the 29th of March, Mom and I had planned to go shopping for this thing. Mm. I wake up in the morning, and there's an, in my uh, email inbox, there's an advert from a, furni- a, a store. And this store has got a techno section in it, and it's giving this, this everything that I said I want for 3999 but anyone who knows Xboxes know that in South Africa, when they are cheap, there are 3,800 for the console only, right? Not the full um, Monty. <laughs> not the full Monty. And I mean, what's the point of giving half a gift? You know, give the whole thing or nothing at all. <laughs> so then I, I see this advert and the full Monty is there for 3999 I'm thinking, no, you didn't. Because mom and I had agreed to go two grand each for this thing. Wow. We get to the store. Yes. On the dot. To that very cent. I was never ready for that. I was like, wait, <laughs> did I do that? Yes, you did. Yes, so we, you did. Wow. <laughs> get this. We get to the store. <laughs> we get to the store. And then the sister comes and she gives me an Xbox. But she gives me the regular. She doesn't know I'm a money magic student, you see. Mm. She gives me the regular um, Xbox for 3,899. I'm like, nope, I'm not just looking for this half a thing. I'm looking for this promotion you have here. And I show her the newsletter. Yeah. She says, no, we don't have 
that in stock? I'm like, but you've got to. It's on your newsletter. And on the newsletter, it says it's an in-store deal for today only. Today only being the day we had said we were going shopping. Wow. Um, yes. She calls the person in charge of that department and uh, they try to find this item because I've got it on the newsletter. It's full of their branding. It's got <laughs> item numbers for each of the four items, right? That's but so crazy. The item number, right? <laughs> the item number that makes it a package is not on the system. Long story short, someone had made an error. They don't have that thing in stock, but they had to package it for me because I had come with proof. So I got the full Monty, which goes for six odd, or when it's at its cheapest, five odd. I got it for 3,999 Rand. I was so chuffed with myself. <laughs> As if that's not enough. Wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> I think anyone watching this is like, what the hell? This is from one session. Guys, actually, this is from one session and he's a money magic student. So you would get this if you do the coaching. Obviously, you'd probably get all, you'd have your own thing of breakthroughs. So she got one session and the money magic course. I have to explain this. <laughs> and so, wow. And the, um, last week, the 4th of April, is the lover's birthday. So I'm going shopping for his birthday gift and I'm specifically looking for bedding for him. Mm. I get to the store, I buy the full set of bedding and I have got 500 rand budgeted for bedding. I get to the store, oh my everything God, is... For 500 rand. That makes no sense. You need more money for Who that. Who am I? <laughs> am I not a student of yours? <laughs> <laughs> full set. I'm talking about light from sheets, Continental pillows as well. Pillowcases, that is. Everything. <laughs> I get to the till and things have been discounted. The stuff cost 390 rand. But by this point, I'm like, this is clearly me. <laughs> like, it's following me everywhere. Everywhere I go, I get discounts. <laughs> as if that's not enough. Girl, like if I so could tell the, you some of the things it, that my clients email me on a daily, they'll be like, what the hell is going on? I'm just like, please just, just go with it. Just go. With wow. <laughs> it's amazing though. <laughs> so you, you will know, you will know that eggs are really expensive at the moment in South Africa. Oh yeah. I'm getting my... I'm getting my eggs for next to nothing because randomly out of the pink, my sister-in-law says she has a friend who knows someone who works at some factory and they're selling directly. So I don't even have to go to, to the farm. Sorry. I don't even have to go anyway. They bring me my eggs to my doorstep for next to nothing. No. Also working as a freelancer, sometimes I have to wait months on end about 90 days or so for payments, right? Mm -hmm. Since the coaching session, I've secured two clients, one brand spanking new, and this one I deal with once or twice a year. Yeah. So the brand spanking new one approaches me, they like me, so now we're gonna work, right? Mm -hmm. As I leave, she says to me, please send me your invoice. I'm like, okay, cool. But obviously, you know, sending invoice doesn't mean you're gonna get paid now. Or well, that's what I thought before. <laughs> that's what my life had been like before. I, I send my invoice. Wow. <laughs> I send my invoice and 20 minutes later, proof of payment is emailed back to me. So now I'm taking like inst <laughs> I was not ready. No, so I, now I must say, like uh, this, I understand that life better than the last few weeks that I have personally experienced because I needed to clear out my own stuff. So I was like, "Wow!" So this is, hmm. and I remember Joe saying to me, "This is how entrepreneurs do business. This is part of entrepreneurship." I was like, "Really?" <laughs> it's a shock to the system. <laughs> <laughs> so I, this I is how used we are to be of the delays in payments and i must say like shock to my true system i used to think i empathize with my clients like recently i'm like 
uh uh-uh, enough empathy no more pay <laughs> pay now <laughs> listen this was a first but this is how i know that it has to do because i mean it could have been a random um, isolated incident maybe can you hear me yeah I can. maybe it's just how they do things they are a first time client right yes but this is how i know that this is me clearing out my stuff that resulted in that mm-hmm. the other clients that i deal with about twice a year yeah. so they call me up it's work we work these people are often wait for right yes i finish what i'm doing for them i send my invoice and 24 hours later they've sent me proof of payment as well they have never sent me proof of payment ever it's usually a surprise when i see their payment i was like wow so this is how i roll now proof of payment please (laughs) okay so wow this is amazing and i think at this point i just want people to i just want people to know that they can go on the facebook on the wealthy money facebook page and see all the other testimonials from other students not just my coaching clients but just money magic students and see that these are not isolated incidents cuz i think when i share people are like huh like when people ask me how do you travel and i'm like well you know i have this course and um i pretty much just say what i want and <laughs> explain to money and do money work and it just kind of happens and i think people are just like okay she's just bsing us i'm like no but the work is real because the other thing that i want us to talk about is how real the work is and that it's not just like you just show up, you do the meditations, but there's a lot of inner work that goes on in this work. So that's my big thing about the work. It is painful work. Hey, because you, you, you go down on trips. You didn't even know you were on those trips. Like the other, the other day I'm at my mom's place and I'm making up my bed randomly. I'm not even trying to meditate randomly is this memory of, of, of an incident, man, between my mom and I. But as a child, which was not a nice incident, instead, because usually what will happen is I'll have these memories and then, and then like my memory is a superpower. So I'm surprised that there are things there that I, I was not aware of. And there's a lot. Since doing this work, I've, I'm unearthing stuff. The beauty of it is is in being able to to connect the dots. Mm -hmm. So usually when I have memories like that, it'll just be another example of what a bee my mom is, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'll sulk or ignore her for the rest of the day. And it causes so much pain and friction between us and our mothers and our fathers. And it also causes so much issues in our money. And And we don't see it. We don't see it because we think, uh, and this is why this work is so powerful. I literally refuse to go into auto the the way I usually operate Mm -hmm. because usually I'll sulk and I'll ignore her. I'll cut, you know, Mm. I took a shower and in the shower, I was just asking myself the questions I guess I got asked in the coaching session. And if not in the coaching session, then in the meditation, Mm. when do you remember feeling this way for the first time? Mm. Where on your body do you feel it? Speaking of the body, after the coaching session, my body went on a rampage. Hey, hey. Mm. I got so sick. There were days when I couldn't get out of bed. My wow. skin. Oh my goodness. It was hectic. And then you would say, just ask, <laughs> just ask the pain where it's coming from. And I'm thinking, woman, I do not. <laughs> but today, my skin is so much clearer. <laughs> Because you are Today, hold- what people so don't much realize is that you're holding these things in your body. You're holding these men you in your body. They are affecting your digestive system, how your organs are working. They're affecting even your skin, how you show up. Like people are always like, why do you have such clear skin? And like when people ask me that, I say, well, I do this work. 
blah, blah. And I think people are like, so one person, someone actually said to me recently, oh, well, I guess you're not going to share your secrets. I was like, I am sharing the secret. It's just not what you want me to say. (laughs) It's not like I'm using a specific cream or a specific soap or something that you want me to talk about. It's just, this is not the so nice stuff, right? But our bodies carry these things. I literally didn't do anything except the work. (laughs) My, 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 my scalp, there was a point when I was considering going bald, but I'd have to wait for it to clear up because it was so sore with infected pimples on it. All this over a week, like everything was just painful and I had to wait in order to clear it. And so the day I told you about it and you said, speak to the pain on your scalp, ask it what it is stopping you from seeing hearing dealing with type of thing Mm. um during that week things cleared up um and also i i also got to find out that i have got a mother wound of note and i suppose it speaks to safety so Mm. even though i'm not aware of it maybe being made to come live with my grandmother as a child we grew close so i kind of forgot that there was a sense of neglect being neglected when I had been made to come live with my grandmother, but it's there. So therefore I'm not safe around my mother necessarily Mm -hmm. because she will then move me to wherever, you know, and I wasn't aware of of dealing with any of that. And how it shows up in our romantic relationships and friendships. (laughs) My poor boyfriend. (laughs) Shame. I've come to realize how much I put him through. And before this work, I was not aware. Like, it was him doing wrong. It's him, it's him. (laughs) There's something wrong with him. But post the coaching session, and while I've been a money magician, I'm realizing that, and I'm able to articulate to him better. So he's not necessarily always to blame for things that happen. And I even say to him, baby, the way I'm reacting now might just be because you just triggered me. Like I am aware of my own triggers. Wow. And that's quite a thing. Hey? That's quite a and thing. Saying, and and how, like just how it changes your relationship with people because they can be just yes. like, oh, this has got nothing to do with me. Let her be. Yes. Yes. Mm. Wow. My final question to you is what would you say yeah. to someone who's just sitting on the fence and just wondering, is coaching even worth it? Like a lot of people will go, oh, but no, that's so much in terms of an investment, so much financially and also in terms of, or in terms of the Money Magic course. Because I am thinking of opening up the Money Magic course in two weeks. So you might as well talk to both. What's been your experience? (laughs) You know what? A breakthrough I failed to share was that when I initially tried to enroll for the class, there was so much resistance, I couldn't even make a payment. (laughs) Things have cleared so much that I had to (laughs) get Vangile out of her her vacay (laughs) and say, look, I made a payment with ease because even that was a thing. Ease... Um, emotionally even it's so worth it the investment is so worth it because the returns are great I personally not feel like I've only got a money coach but I've got a psychologist of sorts also man also in the money magicians group we are people of a kind so sometimes I'll literally get clarity from what somebody else posted you know, and then while reading what you've posted about your situation, it'll jog a memory of sorts and it'll just piece things back together for myself and I can then move on from that point onwards. Totally worth it. Please do it. I was on the fence about six weeks ago and I'm glad I came on board. Girl, you've been on on the fence for a year. Just admit it. (laughs) 
this is true. <laughs> and it's hilarious because <laughs> I think all the Money Magic students messaged you and said, Zandile, you must do this course. <laughs> you must. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Everyone was constantly telling you whenever you'd post in the large group and be like, girl, you don't know. <laughs> Just <I> come. <laughs> I think that's the thing. Sometimes people are like, what the hell? Like, why would people just be promoting something like this and be telling others like willy-nilly? <laughs> the amazing bit is how even the money to pay the course just comes out of nowhere. Just from you having started. <laughs> Easy yeah. peasy. It's about making the decision. So I genuinely... Yeah. I genuinely am so grateful that I get to hold the space and get to work with women like you. So thank you so much for sharing Zandile and anyone listening to this and wondering how they can get to coach with me. If you're watching this video, then you're definitely able to click at the bottom. There's a, la there's a huge yellow button and that will direct you as to how you can sign up for a coaching uh, how to have a conversation with me around coaching fill in the coaching form that's the only way that I respond to you if you don't fill in the coaching form I don't respond to you or else you can also wait around for the money magic course which is incredible um, I should be opening it, up, uh, opening it up soon, but if you're watching this video and we're close for registration, make sure that you get on the waiting list so that you don't miss when we open up the Money Magic course. It is truly magic. I myself have taken the last six weeks, as my students can attest to, to just do the work. And for a while there, I thought, oh, nothing is going to shift. But yay, today I'm the happiest human that you can see because I'm like, oh, the work works, even against things that you think are impossible. So thank you so much, Zandile. And thanks, Zandile, for coming on board. I know that you've gone off <laughs> and I can't see you so have a fantastic day if you're watching this and guys if you're watching this have a phenomenal day I look forward to coaching you or seeing you in the creating money magic course there's no need for you to really keep going through hell with your finances if they are solutions to it right so Zandile see you in the course See you. Bye. Bye.